start a few. So yeah, everybody, this is Buckshot Let's go ahead. Start us. I'm not saying anything. I'm just going to put you on here. I'm going to say, I'm going to put things in here that says, this is how awkward Ruby is. So go ahead. I'll take it from there. Just start us off. Just do it. Hey everybody, this is Buckshot Chronicles. Hey everybody, this is season two and I think we're episode, I don't know, 17, maybe 16. We're episode, we should have popped up when we started anyway. So, hey, we are going to be going, I don't know, we're going to try to trout fish uh, and we're going to try to look for morales at the same time. We did not have any luck looking for morales over by uh, the Willow River, so we're going to try that again we just think there has to be some there so the place where we get morales the place where we go trout fishing they're a little bit far from each other and we want to try to do both so hopefully we can hit a home run today or a grand slam so so it's just daddy and ruby right now we're gonna go pick up grizzly adams <laughs> place we're gonna pick them up then we're gonna go out and have some fun all right guys we'll talk to you in a bit it's episode 15 no i haven't released no 16 16 i haven't released Thanks. 16 yet oh so it's 17 yeah i, I have 16 but i still have to release it so. yeah what well, it goes oh there you go you put 13 and 14 out separately okay well anyways it's episode so right now ruby's trying to call TT, that's She's my sister. She's trying to call my sister right now so we can get her on the show through FaceTime, but I guess she just texted and said that she would call us back. So, sorry TT, but your niece, your favorite niece, is thinking about you. <laughs> hey everybody, my sister called TT, her name is Gina, but the girls call her TT, so she is on FaceTime. And she is officially now on Buckshot Chronicles. You want to say, introduce yourself, Gina? Say hi. hi. I'm Chad's favorite sister. Not only sister, but I'm still her favorite sister. And uh, hi. So there you go. There's the famous TT. She's going to try to come on visit us this summer, and we're going to take her out as many episodes as we can. So, all right, TT, thank you for joining us. We love you. Okay. Okay, Ruby's got a fish. She's reeling it in. She's gonna lift it up over here. Lift it up to me. She saw a fish jump. Look at that. Ooh, I saw that one in the air. Oh, is look that at that. That looks beautiful though. Yeah. Is it a rainbow? Nope. Brook? Brown? It's a brook. Good job, Ruby. We got another one brings it over here and it is another brook trout that's a beautiful brook trout it is not in the limit Why though does it have so much fins? it's beautiful Oh, I see it! I see it! Oh my gosh, that's definitely a keeper. I can see it. You get out of my mouth. Are you recording? Yes, I am. I've been recording. It's like a minute now. <gasps> no! 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 It's so big. It was huge. Oh, it's so sad. It was a huge brown. Oh, for sure. 
here. I can't really do it. Oh, we should stop. For sure, that was a key. Still got Mr. Wormy on. Move! Man, that was a nice one. And that would have been quite tasty. Was it Brooke? No, it was a bro. It's a nice bro. <laughs> Imagine if it was as big as those ones at um, that place where it says, definitely no swimming and do not fish. Yeah. Those were cool, weren't they? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to reach it single bite again. I'll try, though. Yeah. Trying's better than not trying. See if you can. Oh, I see it. Nice, sir. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's big enough. Oh, that's sad. I don't know. At least we got one. It's a brown. That's my Ruby girl. I absolutely love going fishing with her. She goes with me as much as she can. And she's really good at catching the fish. She got, I think, three today. And I got about three myself. And I lost one big one and I let a couple go that were on the line. So John found one. We've seen all kinds of people in here with bags and bags and bags of leaks and other things and that is huge. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Oh, you got the backpack for you. Okay, so we are here with Ruby looking at some elms that are dead and we have found a couple uh, or else. Like right here. So go over there by John, by, by Grizzly. Grab down by the ground, not in the dirt, and just kind of pinch and bend. Pinch the bottom. Oh, okay. There's another one right next to you. So down at the bottom by the dirt? Yep. Yep. But not in the dirt. Yep. And just pinch it. There you go. There That's you go. nice. There you go. And you don't want to get dirt in the bag. Then. Nice rubes. It looks like it's hollow inside. It is. Look at that. Perfect. There's another one right over there, rubes. Where? Oh, I see it. Now be careful because just watch for yourself. I have a feeling there's going to be another four or five. Hopefully, 10 to 20. Right? Yeah, Maybe? that's what we're hoping for. First oh. tree you found. Okay. Good job, Rubes. Got this one. Give it to John. We'll put, it in the, put them in the bags. Nice. All right. Now let's see if we find more. All right, hey, everybody. We had a great time today. We got. Get a bunch of trout. Uh, I'd say I'd probably say about six or seven total. Um, didn't get any keepers. I had one on that definitely was a <coughs> keeper, and I lost it. Kept jumping, and it you know, came out. And uh, and then uh, we did some morale hunting, and we did very well. We did very well inside of the uh, inside of the park. Uh, the last time they were John, we didn't find nothing. Yeah. And for three and a half hours, we didn't find anything, and then. I'd say we probably got, what, a dozen in the park? Yep, and it took a while, but there were some good ones. Yeah, it took a while, but we got some good ones in there. Um, and then uh, we're heading out of the park, and John's like, look at there, there's a, uh, it's private, or not private land, it's a uh, public land, and there's a there's an elm, it's, or a dead elm, let's go check it out. Sure enough, they f I had to stay with the vehicle because it's parked on the side of the road, and uh, they find eight. So they got 20 total. So Ruby's really good at this. She's really good. You want to show them some of the ones that you got, Rubes? Sure. No, oh, I like the smell of these. Some of them. I found one on my way down to going from another, like, enter thing. And then I, I completely <coughs> missed two when I got them. Here's one. You can see it. Nice. Maybe, John, you can put it up there a little closer. Oh, those are beautiful. 
Look at that, guys. Just perfect. I can't wait to try them. So, John, for people that are watching our videos, and I know there's a couple people that are actually trying to do this out where they live out in New York and one out in Texas. New uh, York City? Uh, Rochester. Uh, Rochester. So, sure, I'm guessing, yeah, for sure. They yeah, got so elm trees, they got them. They were asking, how do you prepare these? So maybe you could tell them, like, if they do get some, how could they cook them up? I like them in clam chowder. It's one of my favorite ways. It's super easy. You just uh, open the can of soup, put some mushrooms in there, heat it up. It's great. Anything cream base, I think it's better than bread base, tomato base. I uh, like it on eggs, omelets, uh, any kind of meat, fish, chicken, steak, pork, anything. Is this something that you could cook up in butter and just maybe eat them by themselves, or does it really need to be accompanied with something else? It, I like them with other stuff, but if you get big enough ones, you cut them in half, the long, the tall way, you know, like this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Make sure there's no bugs in there and stuff, and then you can batter them like fish. Ooh, that sounds just good. Like, yeah, like, like, like when you go out to eat and you have fried mushrooms, deep fried mushrooms, that's kind of what it ends up being like. But, or else, it's, it's really good. So we're probably going to be doing this all weekend. Uh, we're going to try to, John and I are going to try to get, Ruby is welcome to come too. But we're going to try to get our sons, we call them Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> they are just, they are just two peas in a pod. They are, you get those two together and they just have fun. <laughs> Like reckless abandonment, was that what you would call it? Yeah, mostly <laughs> reckless. <laughs> they have a blast together. They just love each other. They're, so they're boys. They are they're definitely close. boys. So we're going to try to get them out, maybe get some of this energy out for our wives. Because we take the boys out, get energy out of the boys, so our wives can have a better weekend. And um, Or at well, least a little break. A little break, yeah, at least a break. So we can get on and see if we can get the boys to get some and then and uh, have some fun. So when we stop at John's, uh, we're gonna go and we'll let you guys see all the morels. Uh, you know, uh, see what we got. And then uh, if you guys have questions, I'll probably try to get this posted uh, Friday or Saturday morning. So uh, it will probably be it's an extended weekend because it's Labor Day, Memorial Day, Memorial Memorial Day. I always mix those stuff up. Memorial Day on Monday. So. If you guys, uh, if you guys want us to have any questions, just uh, just shoot them out, text us, you know, or respond on the uh, Facebook or Instagram, or uh, even on uh, just like us on YouTube and all that stuff. Like us, share us, it's great. So, okay, guys, we'll talk to you in a bit. Everybody, so this is. Uh, Grizzly Adams, we're gonna give him a new nickname because he can pick it, he's earned it. Everybody, oh, in case you don't know. Oh, you get to pick your nickname? Everybody gets, we, Mike and or I give somebody a nickname. Right. And then once they've earned their badge, they pick their own name. Okay. Yeah, because I cut my hair. That was the whole Grizzly Adams type thing. <laughs> <laughs> so and you, I cut it the day after the video. So, so here, here, here's your homework. So next time when we go out, you get to tell everybody what your new name is. Oh, I'd rather have you guys pick one. Pick one? I like that. And even the one you picked is fine with me. You sure with it? Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that one. That's a good one. How about we leave it to the kids? We'll let the oh, kids there you decide. Go. Well, I don't know. Well, it's got to be nice. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Thank you, John. You're always great, and we love hanging out with you, buddy. Yeah, have a great night.